Well, thank you and good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, I'm very proud to introduce Chelsea uh, Kuchera this evening. She'll be giving the citizen survey report for 2016. Um, I've gotten the chance to make this report in the past, and I'm very excited for somebody else to get this knowledge and experience <laughs> and to take this on. So um, Chelsea's one of our MPA interns. We have partnered with the University of Idaho in their um, Masters of Public Administration program to start an internship with the city for several folks kind of at a time as we rotate through the year um, as a way to give them some practical experience to go along with what they're learning in school. And so Chelsea started with us last summer and um, has been with us since then. Um, and this is her most recent project that she's been working on. So i um, really proud to be able to pass that on again and uh, look forward to her report this evening. So with that, I'll introduce Chelsea. Okay. Thank you very much. <coughs> Hi, Chelsea. Good evening, council members, mayor. Um, I want to thank Jen for her assistance in the pr uh, process of putting this report together. I couldn't have done it without her. Um, and I'm going to be presenting on the report, but I do have paper copies if anybody in the audience would like one. As well, I uh, provided each of you a copy. And I think I sent it out in a director's email this morning to provide the information to everybody. So we'll get started. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit of the background of the survey um, to uh, just remind everybody what it is that we do and how we collect the data. Um, uh, uh, it's the eighth biennial citizen survey. It is conducted in the fall, um, so it was in September and October of 2016. It's intended to assess overall quality of life, city services, and residents' concerns and opinions. Um, this benefits uh, not only capturing citizen opinion, but also is a an way to extend citizen outreach. It provides information that is helpful in strategic planning, decision making, goal setting, resource allocation, program and policy assessment. Um, the survey instrument is uh, mailed to 1,200 households were randomly selected. There is a pre-survey announcement. Um, the survey instrument itself is based on previous surveys. Uh, this identical format allows for trend analysis from year to year. It's modeled after the National Citizen Survey tool from the National Research Center and um, also from received input from council and city staff. The survey this year was six pages, three pages double-sided. The questions this year were um, greatly reduced with the separation of commission and city service questions. So there's a plan for a commission survey to be conducted in the off years as the citizen survey. Um, the methodology is on a five-point Likert scale, which is converted to a 100-point scale for comparison. The response rate of 29% for 2016 provides a sufficiently large sample to result in a 95% confidence interval for most of the questions. Any of those that were outside of that will be highlighted and are highlighted in the report. And the percentages in the report, um, especially for the standard city questions, are calculated for the actual responses, so not including non-response rates. Those are taken out. But for comparison, the uh, raw data is in the appendix. That's the raw percentages not adjusted to account for the non-response rates. Okay, so we'll get to the first part, which is the standard city questions. Which this first one um, asks about the quality of life, overall quality of the neighborhood, as well as Moscow is a place to raise children, live, and retire. Um, you'll see up there the 83 for quality of life for 2016 and 78 for quality of neighborhood. And the graph below that is um, showing the rates for each of the uh, place to live, retire, and raise children um, from all of the surveys all the way back to 2002. And um, the information has stayed relatively consistent between the years. There's not a large increase or decrease in the uh, results for this question. Next, we have characteristics as they relate to Moscow. 
and um, you can see the uh, highlighted column is, is the results for 2016. That's on the 100 point Likert scale that had been converted. Um, I do want to note that the percentages were changed today. There were some corrections on the percent change amount, although the analysis remained the same. Shopping opportunities um, had a significant decrease this year and uh, will be discussed a little bit later as well as they were um, identified in open-ended questions. Um, and that is the lowest score received to date. Air quality on the reverse had the highest score to date um, with a dramatic increase as well. And the rest of the questions remained relatively stable within one or two points of the prior year's survey. This next slide um, is in reference to safety. So how safe you feel um, from violent crimes, fire, property crimes, and thanks to all of our great service men and women, not only on the police force, but on the fire department. This um, also remains relatively high and within one or two points of each other, um, consistent to prior year's surveys. This next slide discusses problems in Moscow. And for the purposes of clearly examining these items, the larger percentage per items mean that the item was perceived as less of a problem. So drug abuse, alcohol abuse, and domestic violence are seen as the um, worst problems. However, it is important to note that those three also receive um, greater than a 20% don't know or non-response rate, which does make their statistical um, results less valid. And then um, just slightly below that though, growth in the rest down to loitering youth did receive the appropriate um, confidence interval for the statistics. This next slide discusses population, business, retail, and jobs growth. Um, similar to prior years, most of the respondents felt that the rate of population growth is just right. However, job growth is much too slow and business and retail fall somewhere in between. Perceptions of business and retail growth as too slow increased from 2014 while both population and jobs resulted in a, in a decrease of perception since 2014. Him, it is also important to note on this slide that job growth did receive a greater than 20% do not know or response rate, making the statistics less valid. When asked if the city does a good job for planning for growth of our community, responses have been fairly low for all years surveyed. However, in 2016, the results were the highest in agreement for the respondents that the city is planning well for growth with a 39% of respondents noting that they strongly agree or agree that the city does a good job of planning for growth for our community, which is up from 34% in 2014 and from the lowest rating of 20% in 2004. It is also important to note that 34% are neutral on the subject while 27% disagree or strongly disagree that the city is doing a good job of planning for growth for our community. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm a little nervous. This is my first presentation to council. <laughs> you're um, doing just fine, Chelsea. Well, Take all you. the time thank you need here. You're fine. This next uh, slide talks about the frequency of service use um, based on visiting the library, recycling, participating mm -hmm. in recreation programs, and et cetera. On the left, you will see the most frequently used to the least frequently used in that order. And then the uh, chart on the right, uh, for the purposes of clarifying, um, examining this question, the larger percentage items represents the results for once or never used, the service. So, most services remained within 1 or 2 percent from 2014. However, participation in recreation programs and activities received 6 percent more responses that people once or never used that service than 2014. And um, visiting the 1912 center received uh, actually the opposite. So more responses 
or less responses that they had never or once used the service than prior years. This next slide discusses quality of service. And these scores that are displayed are on the 100 point scale um, compared from 2016 to 2014. They maintained within zero to three points for the scores of most items. Exceptions include the amount of public parking, which dipped four points from the 2014 survey. Uh, the two that are highlighted is police services, which increased by four points from 2014 and reached the highest satisfaction score for that service at 82. Police services have steadily increased since 2002 with an overall increase of 11 points. Recycling services had the largest increase of six points from 2014. Uh, Recycling ratings have ranged by nine points over the years. Uh, I do think it is important to note that the city of Moscow implemented the single stream or not, curbside, not sort curbside recycling on February 1st, 2016. The highest rated services in the city include city parks, EMS services, fire services, thanks to our staff and volunteers here tonight, garbage collection, police services, and recycling, all of which score above an 80 on the 100-point uh, Likert scale. Chelsea, you know, I just want to make a comment on that because we got a lot of firefighters and EMS folks here, and, and uh, you know, I, I love to look at stats, and fire service at 85, that's the highest it's ever been. It was 85 in 2014 as well, and then EMS ambulance, I uh, went to 84, which was the highest ever. It was 83 in 2014. So that just goes to show you what the spectrum of folks in our community feel about the job that you uh, men and women do out there. And that's a big deal to us. So that's, those are, the, are statistics that are terrific. So. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Um, when asked generally about the overall quality of services provided by the city, uh, we consistently score high positive for all the years surveyed, but in 2016, a score of 75 on the 100 point scale um, exceeded the historical average of 71 and marked the highest score received to date. Now that's the overall quality of service, which is asked in its own separate question. The next slide is uh, interaction with city government. So we're, uh, Citizens were asked about how they interact and access information. Um, the m most interesting thing here is the, uh, well, there's two things. Um, accessed council uh, agendas, public hearing notices, and all of that that you get from the city website increased to 17, which is its highest score. Um, and watching a city council meeting on TV is still decreasing, um, which may just be because of the TV channel itself. But it is great to see that people are accessing that information from the city website. This next slide discusses overall direction of the city. Uh, the only increase in 2016 was pleased with overall direction the city is ta taking, which scored 10% higher than 2014 with a score of 53% or 50, 63%, the highest score to date. 